Hello, and welcome back to Oxygen Unincluded. In our last episode, we started building this room in order to uh, raise, uh, yeah, grow, I guess. Uh, thimble reed? No. Yeah, thimble reed. And that's going to enable us to um, have some more reed fiber. And so I set up, so we built this room, started this room in the last episode, and I, as promised, on after the or between the episodes i changed the size a little bit here and reconfigured it a little bit so that it would hopefully and i guess i should check that now 95 tiles perfect um i did want to have a station in here i saw that the rocket it was rocket time and so the rocket should be here momentarily but i do want to have a farm station in here and i could make this bump this up two tiles but i don't really care um, I'd rather not fill it in if I don't have to. Even though the these guys will grow in the um, polluted oxygen, All right, fine, then we'll read uh, polluted oxygen. I, you know me, I I want to have it filtered out, so I wanted to uh, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and deal with this rocket that uh, Caladorn is landing right now, and he took out the garbage that was laying on the ground here, which is great. We'll let him stay out of it for the moment until it gets refilled, the cargo bay gets emptied and everything. And then we will take off again. Of course, it needs to be fueled up, and then we need to have... At least I assume we're going to take off again. And then we need to have our oxalite. That's the wrong button. I don't want to keep clicking the research button. Uh, let's see. Yeah, one more visit. Okay, excellent. And then we can see how much fuel it's going to take to get to the next... Uh, one here. Well, there's only one in that level. All right. Well, that'll be fun. Actually, sixty thousand is as far as we can go with the petroleum rocket. Uh, checking on onisistant.com. So that'll be where we end with these rockets. It means we have to get the the liquid oxygen, and well. We have to get the liquid oxygen done. We actually could make it a little bit further, a lot of it further on liquid oxygen for the oxidizer instead of oxalite. So we at least need to get the, the liquid oxygen done, which is going to push the way that I prioritize things when, with that build once we get that started. New printables. Yeah, we'll take the sand, I guess. I don't really care. Destination, destination beyond reach. All right, now it shouldn't be. Good. Caladorn, come on up. Must be in the middle of something right now. Probably going to the bathroom or showering or something. Oh, we got a saxophone. Mangled saxophone. Nice. All right, and there's your last visit to the Salty Dwarf. And I see they're still working on this, which is great. Um, back here we go. So we want to set this up basically the same way, pipes-wise, as we did this one, or even these ones, more or less. Uh, we still need the, the water here for the... Um, Irrigation, the polluted water. So we'll take that up, go into there, and come up there, oopsie. And then go across, through, and, and end. Thank you. And then we need to be able to s siphon off do this. Maybe it'll pull water off here, somewhere, and then be able to clamp it back on if we can. Okay, I think I have an idea, but let's go ahead and do... We'll do the radiant pipe to start with. 
And I think lead is good for this. I don't know what we did down here, but we did copper. Yeah, we should have been doing lead. Uh, because lead still has the high thermal conductivity. It's also thermally reactive, which means that it uh, has a low specific heat capacity. Yeah. And this isn't going to get hot enough to melt lead, so it'll be fine. Uh, so we want to come this way. We're going to be in the same boat as we were down here. And it's because I have this here. The only other option is to loop back. So we're going to be the same boat. Ooh. Actually, no, I won't be. I have an idea. And for crazy ideas. How about that? This lead pipe continues along this way. And then... Continues along this way. And then I can make it an insulated pipe so that it doesn't affect the heat anymore. From here on... Out. And then we'll just bridge in here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So, let's see. I want to take... I want to take here. Or I want to take here. Do, do, do. Let's take here. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. Make a little bit of a mess. Autosave, thank you. Please. Thank you. Take this out. And let's put in one of those and one of those. Also, I prioritize those. Boop, boop. Look at me making a mess. Oh no, it went over. Overflow. Was there Oh, there's water there. Of course, the water happened to be right there at that moment. All right, it's fine. They're getting it. Good job. Okay. So the reason I did it like this was so that I could take... Do, do, do one of these here. And then I could get through here without having, because I can't, couldn't put a bridge in. So take one of those there. Uh, let's see. Insulate a pipe. Do, do, do. And then you can go up to that one. No. You can go up this way. And then this insulated pipe can come down here, jump over. And I should have left the ladder in that I had in there. Um, this part I need to plan. This needs to go here. I guess I don't need to plan too much. And there. And there. Ladder. Doop, doop, doop. Clever folks. Go eat, Ellie. Let's look at the skills. Ellie probably needs to get into the... Uh, yep. Boom, boom. Now she'll be a little bit faster. And she won't have all those problems anymore. Let's give May this one. Yeah, Catherine doesn't really need any more. Pedro, Otto. Uh, yeah, let's, let's leave everyone else alone. Our priority is seven. There you go. Uh, this needs power, so we'll connect that up like that. And then we need temperature sensors. So we'll grab one of these, like maybe here 
here and here? Or maybe over here? Or maybe all, all of those? I mean, it can't horribly hurt. I think that's fine, just those three. And then let's do automation wire. And I can make this out of lead. I'm gonna come over and down so I can avoid those other, uh, that port there, for example. And then go come across here. Like that, I guess. Can't get into these, though. Alright, let's get it done. This isn't going to work. I have to figure something different out here then. To reconnect this to the main line. Somewhere else. So this, wow, it's 19 degrees down there? It is, because of all the crap that I brought in, apparently. Oh, this, these guys can go away, by the way. Okay, we want this to be... Twenty-two to thirty-seven. Actually, no, don't plant one yet. So let's let's look for thirty, maybe. Send a green signal if it's below thirty. Copy. Boom. Boom. Let's start heating it up now, but I need to flush this out before we get too far along. So let's make more mess. Uh, this needs to come out. We need to move this down here further. Uh, here. So let's take this one out. And take this one out. And I'll do the same bridge action here. Nope. And there. Okay. Remop. See if this came into Did you take this one out or that one out? Take this one out. And you know what? I'm gonna pull these guys out too, because if I can get away with not having bridges, I want to not have bridges. Alright, so bridge here. This goes this way. This goes this way. That should force the loop to continue. Still. And it's stuck right now because... It's stuck right now. Because I have stuff deconstructed in the way. Come on. Oh, it's night time. Because of course it is.
Well, at least these guys are draining their heat into the room. Oh, crud, I just noticed something. They're also draining their heat into the ladder shaft. This needs to be all updated. Make those a six. Actually, make these an eight so that they get done. And we can make those a seven. Okay, thank you, machinist. Alright, everything's flowing again. Now let's do a valve. Here. Hope everything still continues to work when I put the valve in. And then I need to change the automation wire. Here, to come over here. You construct that, and the wire wire to come over here. High priority that, please. Punk, punk, punk. We don't need a liquid st or a steel shut off. Why, did, why are those all steel? That's a waste of steel. How about copper? How about you? That one's steel too? Yeah, that does not need to be steel. That's a waste. This one does not need to be steel, that's a waste. You big dummy. Oh, they're upside- that one's upside down. They're all upside down. Doggone it. You extra big dummy. Alright, now don't jack this up, Wally. There. There. Come on, go faster, go faster, go faster. There. Nope, nope, nope. There. Okay, that one's working. That one's working. That one's working. That one's working. That one's off because it's supposed to be off. How are you scalding? I don't know how she's scalding. Okay. I don't know what that's about. I guess I can fix these. If anyone has an idea slash suggestion or what could be the reason why the jetpack f users are scalding, by all means. I gotta remember to come back up here now. So, is this working? Uh, let's see. Temperature? Oh, yes it is. Okay, let's try this then. Then we'll read, copy, paste. Their room got heated up fast. Since they have enough of a range... Oops, I missed some. Copy those two as well. Uh, oh, crap. Well, this one I could move over here. We don't need this ladder. And I can get rid of the one in the middle. Probably. Uh, all. That square. Actually, all that square, too. Yeah, we just need some cooler stuff in there. Okay. Do this again. Conveyor loader goes there. Auto sweeper 
goes there. New printables. That's kind of ironic with that, plus that. All right, we'll just do the hatchling eggs. And I mean, I need to remember to eat them. You go there. You go there. And actually, I could take even this ladder and this ladder out. They're not really necessary. Good job, everyone. Body temperature. Is that just because the seas were cold? Yeah, it's because the seas were cold. Okay, good. Uh, come back up here. I want you to take filtration regolith. Good. Slowly but steadily picking all that crap up. Alright, so now we have them worried. So I think my plan is going to be to let these buggers grow. Uh, and have at least one harvest, maybe more. And then we can make some more insulation out of them. As well as these guys. I should have just done this at the beginning when we set this up. Should have just set this up too. This is really nice and neat. I like this. If it becomes an issue um, at some point. Oh, calling for heat here. Just a little bit. Is that too much? That's too much. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. So actually, let's um, let's take regular pipe. Regular liquid pipe. Go through here like this. Just replacing. Actually, those could have been insulated. And probably should have been insulated. Like that. Uh, no. Instruction priority only. Give me all those. Actually, these should have probably been insulated as well. Let's do that. I mean, the temperature f only affected these first few, but... It may end up being a mix of the two, just because this water is so hot coming in. And we definitely don't want it to get over uh, 37. And it's easily getting over 37 with the uh, radiant pipes. So maybe just more often, but with the regular pipe, keeps it between that range. I think 30 is a good number. May even be able to go lower like 25 with these. Oh, this needs to be copied up. Yes, these got overheated. But I think they'll they'll work out fine. Are you almost done growing? Yeah, you are almost done growing. That went quickly. So I think what I will do is I'll get a couple of harvests out of these guys. 78%, 80%, yeah. Oh, it's because of the farmer's touch. Are they all still sixes? They are. I think these guys are all still just too hot because of the uh, the time here. Yep. 
All right, so let's um, what is the growth cycle? Two of the two cycles of the yes, yes. Yeah, so that's not that's not shabby. Um, we're pulling a lot of water now. Not quite the full bubble, but it's hard to tell how much exactly. But probably about eight kilograms or so out of the ten that, that's moving every time. So we're getting close to a full. Uh, actually, I can tell here. Yeah, just over eight is getting pulled every time. Uh, so we're almost up to a full pipe now of polluted water getting drank by all of this stuff, which is kind of insane at this point. Um, and we might actually end up having problems because of this. Whenever th these get... Whenever this gets backed up or uh, finished up, I mean, right now it's working out great because we have so much backlog, but this might not last forever. Which is why I've hesitated making these uh, thimble reeds. Body temperature is too hot now. No, it's too cold. There's too cold up there. All right, they're heat heating up now. Okay, maybe it'll stabilize now. Uh, there's only three of these that are too hot right now. And I th think the temperature's coming down on them. Come on, thing. Yeah, the temperature's coming down on them. So I think, yeah, that one just came, came free. So I think this might be okay. And then... Um, We're just not getting enough hot water at this point, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. This is coming out of there still at 70 degrees. So it's just the fact that this is still uh, not producing 100% right now. And we're filling this beast up. So that's going to be a problem too eventually. But I can always flush this water uh, into the base. Ooh, we might need it. We're not... Yeah, I'm going to have to probably adjust this as well. Because uh, we're not producing enough... We're not filtering through enough water. And these might actually need to be on delays or something, too. We might have water issues again soon. How bad is this? Okay, the germs are coming way down in this. Um, the issue might just need to be... Wait a minute. Now I'm going to look at my pipe spaghetti again. This here is going here. So it's getting prioritized into this pipe over this one. So why is this going out and through the sieve? Feels like it shouldn't be. Okay, it's not always. Oh, it's whenever this slows down. Okay, whenever that draw slows down. Alright, looks like we're going to send a huge additional batch of water in the next circulation. Now the germs keep shooting up because we're getting our water, at least some of it, from here. And there's a lot of germs in there. So maybe the solution to this is to finally 
do what I've been saying. The problem is I want this to be emptied. I want to get through this and then have this only be polluted water instead of being mixed. That's what I want. Hmm. But what I want to do is I want to have this sieve pulling the water, the polluted water, out of here and dumping it into here instead of sending it this way. And then have this sending the water that's poisoned, potentially poisoned, into the, the poison chamber here. Yeah, that's what I want to happen. Okay, well, I, so I think we have some work to do here on the water situation. But I hope... Hmm. They are not getting enough heat. Not consistently, at least. So I may have to do, like, the every other... Pipe kind of deal. Oh, well, they are and they aren't. You know what? I think I'll leave them alone. They have a short enough growth cycle. I think I'll leave them alone. Most of them are growing most of the time. So we'll have a bunch more of that. Uh, we'll have a bunch more insulation very soon. Because we have everything else we need for a lot more. But, but the reed fiber. So we'll have a bunch more insulation soon. And we'll be able to continue working on this in the next episode. So thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.